Today is March 14th. It is Pi Day. It is also the birthday of Albert Einstein. And I thought this would be a great time to talk to a regular guest in the program, and that's Dr. Moody Lederhosen. Thank you very much for uh, having me here on such a special day. Well, doctor, uh, being an expert on Einstein and on Pi, can you just put it into simple terms for us and explain to people what is Pi? Well, Pi, let, first of all, the number is 3.14, uh, but, you know, that's not uh, the whole number. It's much uh, longer. You know, it's 3.141529265789. Uh, uh, How long is this segment? Well, um, that's why I said let's put it in simple terms. So, in, And why is that important to it? How do we well, use it in, in, in sort of our day-to-day goings about? You do, well, I don't know how many times it comes up in conversation during the course of your lifetime, but never. Uh, you know, Einstein always said, why are you wasting your time with the ridiculous, uh, you know, silly, it's uh, almost a, a silly a mathematics. Is, uh, he very rarely uh, used them. Uh, so I think that was kind of interesting. Um, uh, if you want to find the circumference of a circle, okay, pi, you know, uh, what's the circumference of a pi, you know? Well, mm-hmm. a pi in one mind is made up of uh, many different uh, slices, but the, the diameter of, of a pi uh, uh, we can find out by using a ruler. Then to find out the, the area of that pi, how much pi does everybody get? You know, uh, then you have to multiply that times uh, three pi, uh, square root of, uh, hmm. I mean, to the second power hmm. pi, mm-hmm. and then you get the the radius, the circumference, and the area. Wow. So, okay. but you know, before you, after your dinner, you know, everybody's sitting around chatting about what happened. Uh, you know, oh, good to see grandma. You know, okay, time for dessert, have pie. But before we have our pie, why don't we figure out what, what, what it is? You see that? See how that's like a play on words, but uh-huh. nobody wants to play. Right. Well, as an expert on Albert Einstein, why don't you... Uh, well, you know. Well, somewhat of an expert. He was very influential in your life, I, well, I'm sure. Yeah. Of course. Tell us about Albert Einstein, especially the early years. What's it, some, tell us some things about Albert we don't know. Well, he likes sweaters. Uh-huh. Or should I, you know, the button-down kind. Right. I don't know, usually pockets. Uh-huh. Um, you know, when I look at him and I see photographs of him as a young man and in a well, you know, and then growing up, leaving Germany and then Nazi Germany, he left and said, no, I don't want no way. You know, we went to Switzerland, uh, the Zurich Polytechnic there, you know, got the, working in the patented, patented, pat, how do you say that? Patent, patent, uh, patented the, office? Mm-hmm. The patent, the patent office. The office. Yeah. Yes. In Bern, you know, the capital of the slice, you know, mm-hmm. Switzerland. Let me interrupt for just one second. What did he do at the patent office? What was his job there? He ma- he looked at patents. He, okay. And then from there, you know, but, and he was so good at it. He, you know, so that pre- he had a lot of spare time during the day, you know, for snacks. And uh, they didn't have, I don't think they had TV then. I feel, he spent his afternoons, uh, you know, studying, reading, coming up with ideas, equations, quantum theory, mechanics, the unified field theory, which was often, you know, never really proved Hagen, Heisenberg, you know, had with this ridiculous uh, <laughs> concept, you know. We all laugh about it, Heisenberg. Sure. You know. Now, is it, <laughs> is it true that Albert Einstein dated Marilyn Monroe at one time? No, but I think he threw out the first pitch. He threw out the first one pitch? The, I did not, I wasn't aware of it. One of the Yankees games, you uh-huh. know, Joe DiMaggio. He may have been there when they met. Okay. Joe DiMaggio, Marilyn Monroe, you know, Arthur Miller, you know, the mm-hmm. playwright, Chris Princeton, New Jersey, a lot different now. So he threw out the first pitch. Was he a left-hander or right-hander? But the, I, don't, I don't know for sure whether he threw out the, right, the first pitch, you know, and if he did, was it opening day? All right. These are questions that still, it's a mystery surrounds uh, him, and that's what makes it uh, all the more uh, intriguing, you know. Well, I'm so happy he, you joined us today on uh, Pi Day and on the birthday of uh, Albert Einstein. 
and you've really well, because of by day he, he oftentimes he gets ignored now you know and uh so so that's good that i'm i'm glad that i called and of course i don't think anybody else calls your show so you know well dr uh, moody I'm, later hose and thank you for uh, being on the program today it's always uh, always special and always and uh, always enlightening happy and happy birthday to albert einstein and, and of course uh, 314 uh, but you know uh in uh, europe you know they always put them the months uh after the day so uh-huh. it's uh, uh you would have to wait till july i think to celebrate the pi day i see 14 14 14 14 17 of course uh, you know so anyway ooh. <laughs> You've been listening to O'Brien and Bolt, the podcast. I'm Michael O'Brien. And I'm Jeff Bolt. And our job is to entertain as well as inform. You know, if you like what you heard today, please give us a big thumbs up on your source for all your podcasts. And you can find us on Facebook at O'Brien and Bolt. Thanks. Thanks.